Oh man. Back again with, with the great commentator from Boston, Massachusetts, where we are Holland. The great journalist, yeah, Avis Stop, stop saying I'm from Boston. <laughs> Let me say this to you, Brother Porter. Yeah. You know what, man? Great fight, May 4th, Tiva Mobile Mobi Center, Las Vegas, the desert sun and the desert heat. Same place that Michael Spinks made history 34 years ago against Larry Holmes. Can Danny Jacobs make history in Las Vegas against the great Canelo Alvarez? Can he make history? I think he can make history. I believe in him. I'm, just, I'm a little suspect to the to the, and I'm not throwing any any salt or dirt on the judges out there oh and God. how they how they oh you know, do their job. Oh God. But in my opinion, I don't think he can get a just decision. I, I don't think he can get a. I don't think he can score a decision against Canelo because of the because of where the fight is taking place at. We all know the history of Vegas. But again, I think I think Danny Jacobs is going to win. I think he's going to have to score at least two knockdowns. Either he's going to have to score at least two knockdowns, or he's just going to have to flat out knock out Canelo, and that is a pretty difficult job to do. Well, because Canelo is just that damn good. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Brother Porter, good fight, but my heart is broken that that fight is not in the mecca. Me Madison too. Square Garden. Me too. Home of a Brooklyn guy. We understand business is business. My slogan is ain't person is business. Eddie Hearns doing big business, him and Matt Swan. And the T Mobile gave him what he wanted. And you can't blame the man. If he can get something free for his company, then why pay for it? Yeah. And Madison Square yeah. Garden, he got to pay for everything across the street. But the garden wasn't <laughs> gonna give it to him. Because the garden hustled like he hustled. So <laughs> it's funny that I said that. But get into boxing, you're right. Yeah. Ladies, me and Brother Porter, our heart is too broken because we New York guys and, and, and New Jersey guys. We're going to let it play out in a couple weeks. Then we'll come back and commentate at the fight. But we both got handkerchiefs because the fight is not at the mecca of the world. Thanks. Following the great 1971 fight with Ali, Joe Frazier, Danny Jacobs should have been on that wall to say he fought there with all the great mm. fighters. The, his mega fight was at the garden. Even though he fought at the garden a couple of times, but his, but this mega fight yeah. would have put him on the wall with Ali Frazier. Not as big, but as being a mega, major fight, mega fight in the garden. But the T-Mobile Center, me and me and Brother Board of Manager, y'all, y'all should be getting Eddie Short money. We'll be back after the fight, y'all, and to commentate on what it is. So we'll see you May 6th. Fight is May 4th. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. Me and Brother Porter see you on May 6th.